Hello guys, welcome to the next video on MongoDB database tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can update a document using MongoDB. So let's get started. First of all, we are going to uh, switch to the same database as we have used in the last video, which is school. So just write school, use school and execute it. And now we are switched to school database. Now, first of all, let's let's uh, list all the documents so we know what are the documents present. So just write db dot student, which is a collection dot find, and then give this brackets here and execute it. And these are the documents we have. Now to update a document, what we need to do is we will just write db then the collection name. And then there is a special method called update, which we can use to update a document or multiple documents. Okay, so just give this command and inside these round brackets, what we can do is we can give uh, first of all uh, the condition on the basis of which we want to add it. For example, we want to add it uh, the age or the surname of a student whose ID is this one for example right so in this condition our uh, condition is this one which is ID is this and wherever the ID is equal to this ID then we are going to change the surname right so just give this curly brace and let's give two curly brace because uh, we are going to use both of them and in the first uh, curly brace you just need to give your condition for example id is equal to this id right so we will give this and in the second curly braces we will just give the value we want to set right but this takes a special parameter called dollar set so this will tell or this will uh, tell the mongodb to set this value right and then give colon and once again curly brace and then the value which we want to set so for example we want to set the surname here right so let's set this surname and instead of uh, this surname we want some other surname for example some other surname right and then just execute this command just select all this command and execute it and you can see uh, one modified okay and once again we can uh, give db dot uh, students dot find and uh, this is not version but students and execute it and you can see the surname is changed here right so in this way you can uh, change or update your uh, document the second way to update a document for example you want to update multiple uh, document based on some condition so how to do it so we will add it the same uh, command or let's copy this command and paste it once again here and this time what we want to do is the student which have the age 16 because we have uh, two students which have the age 16 for example we want to uh, change the surname of these two students whose uh, age is 16 this and this one right so how we can do it so instead of this condition id we can uh, give the age condition now right so instead of this just write age is equal to 16 and then set and then the last name we want to set uh, some uh, surname right so some for example some surname and then once we execute this command let's see what happens so there are two uh, data which must be affected by this so let's execute this and this time it says modified is equal to 1 but we were expecting the two uh, you know values to be affected by our uh, you know command 
and the reason for this is the update command when you uh, you know execute it something like this is going to uh, just update the first uh, document which it finds satisfying this condition so let's first of all uh, list our uh, you know documents once again and let's see what happened so in here you can see one of the document which is the first document it's uh, updated but the second document is not updated right now to update the multiple document we need to add one more condition here and this condition is the third condition and what is the condition the condition is just give the curly brace once again and then just write multi colon true and let's execute this command but I'm going to remove this and don't forget you need to give the comma here right and then once again uh, execute this command and it says one more uh, data is affected which is uh, the other data right so just uh, list out the documents once again and once again this other document is uh, you know corrected or edited or updated right now once again we will uh, try to update with this command and this time it should uh, you know update the multiple data so let's uh, update the surname once again uh, some weird surname and then once again execute it and it says modified to that means it modified two commands and let's uh, list out our uh, data once again and you can see at the two places it has modified uh, the documents now there is one more command which can be used to update the data and this command is the save command so how it works so instead of uh, using these commands what we do is we will just write db dot student which is our collection name dot save and in uh, this save command what we can do is we can give the whole JSON which we want to update so this command do two things if the ID so for example we can we want to edit this data we can just copy the whole JSON and we can paste it here and for example we want to change the age here we can just uh, change the age to for example 14 okay so what it does is it search for this ID inside your documents and if this ID is uh, present then it's going to uh, you know set the data or update the data for uh, this ID document or otherwise if this ID is not found it's going to create a new uh, document with the new ID and the new data right so let's execute this uh, command and let's see what happens and it says one document modified and let's uh, list out our uh, documents once again and you can see the age is changed now let's uh, change the ID a little bit so for example instead of uh, we have until 9e so let's give 9f okay and the student name is uh, Tom for example and some surname and the age is for example 16 or let's say 17 okay and let's remove this command and let's execute this command and you can see right result so once again we can uh, list out all the documents and you can see a new data is added to your uh, documents which is this one right so this works in two ways one for inserting the data and other for updating the data so in this way you can update documents in mongodb i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now